Good day, my friend. It is day two of the Real Estate Good Life video blog, or as they call it, a vlog. I just have a hard time saying that word, but I'm going to keep saying it. So here's day two of the vlog. I'm in my driveway. It is 11.21 a.m. You're probably wondering, okay, that's two days in a row where you haven't left your house before noon or around noon, but that is the Real Estate Good Life. I do basically what I want in the morning, and then I go in, check on some things, hold some agents accountable on the team, make sure lead generation programs are in place and operating properly, look at the dashboard of pendings, uh, new listings, homes under contract, any of that have fallen, expireds coming up, things of that nature, the bottom line with regard to income and expense, and then I move along, come home and have dinner with the family. So that's my day typically. Today I've got two things going on specifically. I have a uh, kind of a training call, phone call, uh, type thing with Infusionsoft. So if you haven't heard of Infusionsoft, check it out. It is phenomenal. Uh, not sure um, it's the easiest thing at this point uh, to get along with, but I would say that it is an excellent product and I am really starting to wrap my mind around it. Infusionsoft has done a great job in training me over the last probably 30 days onto how this is going to change my business and life forever. And really for people like you and me that we like to build automated systems and programs, Infusionsoft is phenomenal. So check it out, Infusionsoft.com. Anyway, and tell them I sent you. I think I get like a little bonus or something if you sign up. Anyways, the other thing is I'm meeting with the owner of a title company tonight. He said, let's get together and have a scotch. Since he heard somewhere that I like scotch, I, and I do, I do like scotch. I'm not sure I like scotch on a Tuesday, but maybe I will have one scotch with him and talk to him. He's a great guy, very successful local businessman, um, an attorney, and decided to open up a title company. He had been preparing my deeds for the last 15 years, so that'll be good because I like to hear people's stories. He's worked hard, made himself successful, so I have that today. Um, and then what I wanted to do with you today, just go over th three quick things that I call the three keys to success in real estate sales. Number one, you need reasonable intelligence. Now, I know that sounds um, probably pretty bland or pretty basic, and wouldn't it be something that we all had? But as you know, and you've dealt with real estate agents and other people in your life, not everybody has reasonable intelligence. So two parts is, one, you can't be a dope. Okay, and the other is you really can't be a genius, like genius as in um, off-the-chart IQ engineer type. Now, I probably come off as somebody that has off-the-chart IQ to you. I understand that. But the case is I'm not the engineer type. I'm not the um, overly detailed person. That is not the person that makes it in real estate from that perspective because you seem to or want to overanalyze everything. And we can't do that if we want to live the real estate good life. Two. You need connectability. Now, I'm not sure if that's a word or not, but as far as I'm concerned, it is. And that is the genuine ability to build rapport. And if you have that, that is a secret weapon in real estate. Meeting clients, talking to people, converting leads, the genuine ability to build rapport. And number three is the most difficult and certainly the most elusive, and that is desire. Inside of you, in that deep pits of your soul, you need a burning desire to succeed because this business will knock you down. It will trample you. It will bloody your lip. It will black your eye. That's the business. Get over it. But you got to get through that. Your skin will thicken. You'll step out of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone will enlarge. You'll get more comfortable with the ideas of the things that need to go on. So number three, the most important, you must have a burning desire in order to lead the real estate good life. Because now we've got to do things that most people won't do. So later we can do things most people can't do. This is day two. I'll see you next time. Check me out, realestategoodlife.com. Get the free book. See you. Bye.